What's up guys, we're back. As you know, I'm really into military stuff and old school firearms and things. So if you didn't know, there's this uh, organization there called the CMP. So the Civilian Marksmanship Program. So it's really cool, they take old surplus military uh, rifles and uh, they sell them back to the public. So you could order like uh, M1 Garands and most recently, you can order uh, 1911 A1s, which were the service pistol in the U.S. Army. So, I uh, filled out all the paperwork, and let me tell you, there's a lot of paperwork, but uh, after you fill out the paperwork, you get put into a lottery. So you basically get a lottery number. So I filled out the paperwork, I think, in February 2021, and then I got my number in about April. And then just now in November, they uh, contacted me and they said, hey, would you like that pistol? So I said, you bet I do. And they mailed it to my local gun store and I picked it up. So we'll do a little unboxing, so stay tuned. All right, so this is the nice box it came in. So, let's get to it. All right, that looks like your uh, regular standard issue Colt 1911A1. And uh, let's see what it says. Oh, sick. All right, so it's not a Colt. <laughs> it's a... Uh, the frame and the slide are both Remington, so Remington Rand. So not only did Colt make M1911s, but uh, Remington and I think Singer, uh, the sewing machines made them. So that's cool. So yeah, Remington, there we go, right there. I don't know if you could see that. Remington Rand, Syracuse, New York. Wow, that's cool. So. No ammo in it, obviously. Wow, very cool. So yeah, I think Remington, they made, I think they actually made more than Colt, honestly. Uh, well, you'll have to check me up on that. But very cool. So yeah, it looks like it's been reparkerized. But I mean, it's a nice shape. That's cool to get a a Remington. I was expecting a Colt. So, if as you could see, so there's like I don't know if you could see this, but in the arsenal, when when they get approved or whatever, they get a little die stamped into them. So that says FJA. So that's Frank J. Atwood. And I think he was in charge of all Rands and uh, Ithaca, Remington and Ithaca. And then there's proof marks. So there's a P on the, up here. And then there's a P right back here. Wow, it's very cool. So you can see the plastic grips. Wow. Functions. Safety. Safety works, great. Wow, that's really cool, I'm excited to get a Rand. I don't know what else I could say about it. Let's see, maybe we could take it apart. They also send you a bunch of goodies. Let's see what they sent us. So there's a certificate of authenticity. So yeah, 1911 field grade and November. And then uh, obviously the serial number, very cool. And cable lock, we don't need that. Oh, coupon. So 
So a coupon to go to any CMP uh, sanction, sanctioned range. That's cool. A shipping checklist. And then just the order form. So if you know anything about gun prices, the great thing about CMP is they really don't charge what you would get in the retail market. So I mean for this right now I could probably get at least double that. I would say. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments how wrong I am, guys. But for for what it is, I think that's a phenomenal price. So all right, let's get this thing taken apart and uh we'll see what the insides tell us. All right, see you soon. All right, so it's pretty easy to take apart. So, I mean, this is your main takedown thing. It was pretty tight in there, which is good. I saw some guys there able to push it out even without, uh, see the way you do it is you get this back and then you're able to get this detent out. But some guys are able to work it out without even manipulating the slide or anything. So that was pretty good, it's pretty tight. So I don't really even know what I'm looking for, but everything looks nice and clean. I guess it was reparkerized, and uh, you could see some wear, and you could see even on the the hammer there's some pitting, old pitting. But for the most part, this thing is in really nice shape. I'm very pleased. I'm sure there's a brand new spring, but that's pretty tight. Uh, barrel looks good. So I'm sure that's a brand new barrel. And there's a uh, there's a proof mark right here. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm really happy I can't, I mean, I really can't complain. So if you know anything about these and you wanna chime in, let me know. But I mean, I'm excited. It's like a kid in the candy shop get that old mail order uh, package, you receive it. And, I mean, what's cooler than this? A piece of uh, military history. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together. And did I leave anything out? I don't know. I mean, the 1911s are pretty straightforward. Let me get it back together, I'll, I'll show you some more. So yeah, what more can I say? Remington Rand, Syracuse, New York. Like you can barely make out United States property. Like it's really hard to read M1911A1. But I think that's because it's been reparked. So. Like what a nice example. All right, guys. Oh yeah. All right, so the magazine also. I don't know who made this magazine, but there was people all over. I think there was a factory in Brooklyn. There was there's factories all over that were making these for the war effort. So I don't know what year this one was produced, but also it's got the uh, the holder. You know, if you want to put a string and tie it. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Fill out those forms. You can get as many M1 Garands as you want, but you can only get one 1911 in your lifetime from the CMP. So I'll leave uh, links in the description for the CMP and uh, in case you want to get on board with that. Because there's some requirements, like uh, you got to be an active member of like uh like a club 
and you know make sure you're participating in, in safe handling of firearms and and uh, target practice etc and uh, you want to be a member of like Grand Collectors Association uh, some something affiliated with the with that and uh, you know I'll, I'll link it in the description but it, it's 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 a process but it's well worth it as you can see so uh, let me know what you think and uh, thanks for watching